good morning children today we are going to do writing skills okay so under writing skills we are going to discuss imaginative essay now what is imaginative essay now imaginative essay is an essay which tends to discuss anything from space travel to fantasy land okay so here you can discuss about anything okay that is space travel fantasy okay you can uh, think about you know fantasy lands okay about space travel okay and it is basically an essay based on fiction where you are required to put in your imaginary skills thoughts in a logical order it is completely dependent on your creative ability and the knack of bringing it in writing so children here under imaginative essay you will have to put your you know imaginary skills so if you are into reading okay you would have uh, got a lot of ideas okay so you can put your thoughts to writing okay you can give a free rein to your writing okay and it depends on your creative ability and your knack your skill eh, of bringing it in writing so whatever thoughts are they whatever you imagine okay you are going to put it in writing and that too in a logical order so you can think of many things okay you can fantasize okay so there's so many things okay so it doesn't cost you anything okay so you are going to put your imagination okay whatever thoughts come to your mind you're going to put it in writing so what are the guidelines to write an imaginative essay so while writing an imaginative essay you'll have to follow the following that is heightened sense of imagination okay you are going to put all your thoughts to writing okay you have to have a very high degree of imagination and you can add sensory details like smell touch taste that is you know um, like you know the way you write okay suppose you are going to uh, discuss about something like the smell for example uh, for example say the smell of the earth okay when uh, rain falls the smell of the earth the way you uh, describe will give the reader you know uh, uh, he will start to imagine okay here the reader will start to imagine you know depending on the way you are writing okay logical flow of details so uh, your essay should be in a you know logical sequence okay then if at all you are bringing about any you know writing about any characters there should be clear characterization punctuation you know proper punctuation should be used and formal language is not mandatory okay so children follow these guidelines while writing an imaginative essay so here i have given you an example of an imaginative essay here it is if i were a millionaire okay so not all are born with silver spoons okay now so there's nothing wrong in imagining to be a millionaire okay so here as an example if wishes were horses even beggars would ride okay so but sometimes dreams do come true okay it happens sometimes see we may dream okay we dream of so many things but these dreams always do not come true okay sometimes it does but now i live in a country in which 
more than half of the population is below the poverty line and don't know whether they'll be able to afford the next meal. Okay, so here I live in a country in which, you know, half the population are living below the poverty line. Okay, and they do not know whether they are going to get the next, you know, they are going to have or afford the next meal. But there's no check to one's fancy. I wish I were a millionaire. Okay, so anyone can fantasize. Anyone can dream. Even, you know, the people on the street, even the beggars can, you know, dream. So, uh, there's nobody going to stop. There's, nobody can stop you from dreaming. Okay, so here, the topic that we are going to discuss is, I wish I were a millionaire. So, as a poor man, I've often experienced that rich men are generally selfish to the extent of being cruel. Okay, so, as a poor man, I've often experienced that rich men are generally selfish. Okay, so many rich men now, many rich men are selfish and they can also be cruel. Their outlook on life is not human but materialistic. So they just think of, you know, earning money, okay, becoming rich to the point that they do not, you know, um, they are not human, okay. They treat people very cruelly. They forget that to be rich is not to be inhuman, okay. So uh, they do not, you know, understand that they should not be inhuman to others, okay. They feel that if they are rich, they can be inhuman, they can ill-treat people. When I become rich, I shall not forget God. So here, when I become rich, I shall not forget God, that is, okay. Uh, many uh, people, okay, as soon as they become rich, okay, they can, they even forget God, okay. I long to lead some days in comfort, okay. So, I long that many, uh, you are here, I long, they are, uh, you know, want to uh, lead some days in comfort. I want to lead a comfortable life. Money will end the state of uncertainty in which I live today. So I've got plenty of money now. Okay. So to a certain extent, that is going to uh, end days of uncertainty because there were days when I had no food. Okay. There were days when I did not know whether I was going to get the next day's meal. Okay. So money will end the state of uncertainty for which I live today. Poverty makes you lose friends and makes one unacceptable as society. So being poor can be very, very cruel because not all want to make friends with you when you are poor. Okay. And poverty also is unacceptable in society. Many people shun poor. Okay. Uh, shun the poor. Okay. So poverty is unacceptable in society. So if I were a millionaire, I would be in the company of rich friends. So being a millionaire, I'll have plenty, many people, many rich friends. But being a millionaire is only a part of my desire. Okay, so being a millionaire, I'll be in the company of rich friends, but that is only a part of uh, my desire. I want to be a millionaire, but that is only a part of it because I know of so many children who cannot go to school as they are very poor. So here are my desires. What am I going to do with the um, money? Okay. So I know of so many children who cannot go to school as they are very poor. Okay. So if you find if you look around, you'll find there's so many people who are very, very poor and they cannot afford to go to school. 
because they are very poor they do not have money okay to buy books to buy uniform okay to pay the fees okay so all of you are familiar with all this okay so i shall open schools and colleges for the greater good of all okay so i want to open schools and colleges so that the poor people can be benefited my aim in life is to establish a university in the model of ancient indian universities so what's my aim in life it is to establish our university in the model of ancient indian universities so i think you remember we had many ancient universities like nalanda takshashila etc from you know in olden times and and these were famous throughout the world so i want to establish a university in the model of ancient indian universities i want to go back to old culture which was one surprise of the world so we had i want to go back to that old culture okay so in olden times we did have a gurukul system okay wherein you know we used to uh, learn at the foot of our teacher okay so uh, i want to go back to that old culture and this was the pride of the world okay so the ancient gurukul system was the pride of the world and i want to go back to that old culture a wealthy man can do so much good to this world okay so a wealthy man has a lot of money okay and he can help the world okay he can help the people around he can do a lot of good to humanity and to the society money along with too many comforts and care brings evil also so now if we can use money for the good of others for the good of society it is oh it is you know for humanitarian purposes etc it is good but it also money too much of money is also evil okay hence i want to live a pious and noble life so i want to do good to the society i want to do you know good uh, do good to people around okay i want to do a lot of social work and hence i want to do i want to live a pious and noble life i would very much wish to increase social service in the country okay so there are many people okay you are familiar with many wealthy people okay who are doing a lot of social work okay so uh, i would very much wish to encourage social service in the country okay i shall take a try i shall make a trust we should look after the welfare of orphans okay so i will make a trust which will look into the affair of orphans now orphans are those who is you know who do not have parents uh, okay so he wants to uh, here i want to make a trust which will look after the orphans okay i shall lead a noble life and cut down my own expenses so i want to lead a noble life i want to lead a pious life and i want to cut down on my own expenses i don't want to you know spend lavishly okay i want to cut down on my own expenses so that i may help others to live better and the same you know uh money you know if i cut down on my own expenses i can use the same to help others okay i can better you know the life of other people i am a simple person and wish to remain the same if i become a millionaire okay so um i am a very simple person because you know though i want to be a millionaire i want to spend the money for the good of the society and to better the lives of others okay so even if i become a millionaire i want to live the same life i want to live a pious and noble life okay so 
I think that is quite a, a very high ideal that here, okay, that's quite a high ideal here, okay, so that is even, you know, if I become a billionaire, I want to live a pious and simple life, okay, so children, this is about your imaginative essay, if I were to become a millionaire. Now, here is some work for you. Again, you're going to write an essay on if I were stranded on an island. Okay, so this is an essay, an imaginative essay, okay, which you're going to write. Right? Okay, children. So, you're going to write this in your notebook. Thank you, children.